Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Homicidal All Stars. Although I saw that this game was also called Shogunners, so I'm not sure which is which. This is the demo. Uh, the game isn't out yet. We're going to be uh, giving it a try. This is a uh, pretty blind, so I'll probably cut out some of the tutorials. Um, but we'll we'll see. It, this this game seemed like it was right up my alley. Uh, honestly, it's a uh, kind of a turn-based tactics uh, XCOM-ish kind of game. Let's let's give it a go. Hey. Season premiere on guard. The final battle of the night. Will the challenger survive what's in store for them? One thing's for sure. It's gonna be bloody. All right, so we're we're being very uh I actually don't know if this is a tutorial. This just might be like a get jump in the game and and do your best. Um so we have Scarlet. I'm not sure um I think uh, this uh, Tybalt, um, I'm probably pronouncing their, right, their, their name wrong, is on our side. So we have uh, Scarlet, Tybalt, and Zoe. And these guys are, are bad lads. This game is very loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So we got a melee uh, attack. We got our classic Overwatch. You, you almost can't do a turn-based tactics game without Overwatch these days. Um, love shooting people, but isn't great at it. Okay. Um, but that's the scum we're trying to aim at. So we can see, I, I do actually, I'm starting to get used to this interface here. I, I appreciate some of the interface stuff we got going on here. So if I like tell her to move somewhere like over there, we can see from this, from this angle, we can see no one, right? No one is within view. However, if we were to move here, we have half cover. And we can uh we have line of sight to a bunch of people and we also can see uh what our chance of hitting that person is from our per uh, current um, position we've got i think this is full cover yeah that is full cover um very very XCOM uh stuff going on here so we're just gonna go ahead and shoot i'll shoot this guy we did hit him we did 15 damage that's their turn we have a similar uh 75 chance of hitting from over here we have body swap not sure what that does sabotage decoy so this person uh i think they've got some like kind of hackerish uh abilities we also have a frag grenade but i, I think i'm just gonna try and um do the Ooh. kind of a kind of a weird perspective on that but that we got that um you know like kill shot um can we it looks like when once you've uh taken your shot you no longer have the ability to um like move so that's uh you know a, a deliberate move uh, or a limitation there this person has a cone attack melee attack intimidate this person has healing as well um maybe Maybe we'll do an overwatch. I always I do love to do an overwatch if we do here go here I'm assuming we use both our movement um, I, I think that probably cannibalizes our, our attack as well So I don't necessarily want to do that. Let's do an overwatch. Okay, so this shows us what the overwatch is going to be covering Which is kind of nice Let's do an overwatch. We'll see what happens This guy I'm assuming is going to move in there. Oh, no, he's he had a good angle on Tybalt Although uh, they missed, so maybe not that good of an angle. Our overwatch has popped off, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So we did a nice chunk of damage on this um, Muerta. They shot at Scarlet and have poisoned them. Uh, I'm assuming overwatch, once it's popped off, has it no longer can pop off. It's, it's done, so that's fine. I'm not sure. Uh, I've never been clear on the benefits of a watch i'm pretty sure it probably means a um like a guaranteed hit like you know it, it's uh it's not a guaranteed um thing that happens because it, you have to rely on the fact that the enemy is going to move over your overwatch but once it happens it's guaranteed to happen so we do have to reload i think um but I don't know, like, I, I guess I don't know when that needs to happen. It looks like we have three or four boats, so we're going to have to reload. We can reload prematurely, and generally, if you have a, a quiet moment, you should reload. Um, then we have unhittable, which is interesting. Snapshot. What is this snapshot? 
Fire a quick shot without spending AP, dealing a portion of base damage. Okay. Um, does, so it doesn't spend AP. Um, base chance to hit 50, chance 75, effective range bonus plus uh, 50, cover penalty 25. So they, they get a cover bonus of 25. Good to know. And then what? what is assault? Shoot after spending all your AP for movement, making your target unable to move for one turn. Uh, shoot after spending all of your AP for movement. So this, uh, hmm, okay. Well, I kind of wouldn't mind. What is the snapshot again? Fire a quick shot without spending AP, dealing a portion of base damage. I wouldn't mind doing that on uh, Muerta over there, even though it's a 67% chance because um, ideally we hit them. We don't do very much damage with this, but we don't need to do very much damage because they're almost dead. And we did hit them and that did work out. Nice. Um, and let's do another shot. Let's, we'll, we'll do a, uh, just a normal shoot on this scum guy here. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, so what about, uh, type? So she's almost out of ammo. So she's going to have to do a reload for sure. Um, interested in this is like tie ball character. So what does this do? Swap appearances with a humanoid target to fool enemies into attacking the target. And ignoring the caster. That's kind of cool. Let's try that. Is the master of camouflage. So now we have projected onto this, uh, this character. He can still move. So that's fine. But I think I'd rather keep him there for now. Um, I'm not sure how to just pass. End turn is... Okay, end turn. What about... Uh, Oh yeah, okay, so, so they shot Scum. That was good, because of the uh, projection. Securing the area. They went on Overwatch. Are they going on Overwatch? Oh no, they're gonna shoot at Scum as well. <laughs> nice. Um, Scarlet's taking damage from Poison. We don't want to proc that uh, Overwatch if possible. I think if I shoot him, then I should be okay. So let's try that. Oh, bit of a bit of a kind of frame drop in a crucial moment there. That's that's a, a bit of a downer. Um, okay, so now Zoe, Zoe, I think. Well, okay, I was gonna say she go, she should go on Overwatch, but I actually think that that's not a good idea. Let's move her over here. I haven't actually moved anyone yet, and she'll have full cover here. And uh, what's this wind up? Wind up your Gatling gun to gain a substantial damage boost in the subsequent attack. Uh, sure. Zoe decides she needs more firepower. Oh, that uses up her turn. Uh, I was a little bit concerned that that was going to be the case, but that's uh, that's fine. Um, and then we'll shoot this guy with uh, Scarlet. Missed she missed. Inches. That's fine. Reloading. So fumes reloading. I should have reloaded with Scarlet. Ooh, ooh, that's nasty. Okay, so let's uh, cover our bases first. First of all, I... Okay, so body swap is on cooldown. That's no good. Let's go ahead and use a med kit on uh, on Tybalt. Uh, Ty then we'll have Scarlet um, reload. And then we're going to have Zoe uh, fire. What do you mean? Oh, they smoke screened. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, um, in that case, let's move her back over here. And then fire onto this guy. No targets available. What do you mean? No? Oh, is she in the smoke screen? Oh, that sucks. All right, let's move her over here then. Does she not no longer have... Oh, wow. So if you move twice, you use your action. It doesn't matter that it was within the like her range. It, you just... Two moves is an action. Um, I'm actually gonna use our my second move for Scarlet. Reloading apparently is like a free action. I'm gonna use a, my second move to use a medkit so that we can maybe cure that poison and also uh, just heal up. Then with uh, Tybalt, let's do an Overwatch. 
I think that would be a good idea at this point. Because Fume's going to move out of the smoke screen. He's going to fire. No ammo. I didn't reload. Oh, no. Okay, now no ammo. So the Overwatch is not a guaranteed hit. Scum is reloading, but that doesn't mean he doesn't get to fire. Um, all right, so now we can finally hit use Zoe and they should have a, more damage with their their charged up barrel. There we go. Yeah, that was that was amazing. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I actually kind of want to use a frag grenade um, to take out fume, although it doesn't look like it's going to be a guarantee guaranteed kill. But still damage is damage and that's nice. Um, we could do... Oh, that seems to have gotten rid of the smoke, interestingly. That's an 80% uh, uh, on them, so let's go ahead and take the shot. Double kill. All right. So, uh, it's not over. Esther with a sword, keep your distance or get sliced. I do appreciate the... Um, the execution on this game, like the the actual like quality of uh, you know the, the graphics, the style, the look of everything is is really nice. Nice to, to play an XCOM game with a bit of a different flair. Like I haven't really seen this kind of game before. Um, I've seen these mechanics before for sure, but I've never seen like the whole like game show death trap uh, you know you know tournament style thing done in the XCOM. Uh, you know with the XCOM style which I, I do really appreciate I think it's it's a, a bit it's, it's it's novel um so let's go ahead and we're just gonna keep firing with it. I think this is a good spot for Scarlet no targets available what do you mean no line of fire ah ah okay well in that case um why don't we move Scarlet over here she's only gonna have half cover and I'm actually going to do an overwatch because there's two guys over here mo making their way over. So that Scarlet, uh, that overwatch will probably be pretty good. Um, our friend uh, Tybalt here, he has to reload. That means he has no move action unless I want to waste his actual regular action. I don't know. Um, overwatch might not be as good from that perspective, but maybe I could move now. I could move him here. I don't I'm pretty sure that will waste his turn though Can he he can hit that guy from there. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh missed with an 80% I have to hope that this game is not um, cheating um, The percentages because like, uh, you know, I think that it's fair to say that um, oh, You know XCOM over the years has has gotten its fair share of criticism from from doing that um, Let's I don't know. We could use another grenade. Uh, or we could just shoot the guy. No targets available. Really? Wow, I really need to pay better attention to who I, you know, what I have available at me. I did not mean to do that. Yo, I did not mean to do that. Can we Q? Oh, no. Q is just uh, rotate, not, not undo. So you gotta, you really gotta be sure that your move is correct before you do anything that is just a big bummer i'm seeing a really good opportunity for a grenade possibly oh no okay so um our friend zoe here is poisoned let's see what, what we can do okay we can take out ronin and muerta with a grenade here Uh, oh, that's a proximity grenade. They have to move in order for it to work. Well, that's fine. Ronin has to get in close, so he has no choice but to move. Um, we can also fire on someone. Um, cone attack. Kind of just want to aim at Morita. Because I, I, I want that proximity my uh, grenade to go off for Ronin. Specifically. I'm gonna have uh, Scarlet move closer here. I don't think that that's... Oh, well, it says 100%. But I guess even when you're, like, right next to the cover, it's not gonna... It doesn't make much difference. Um, we could do a snapshot. Right, let's just do a normal attack. Catastrophic. 
Nice. And then Tybalt, um, what we could do with Tybalt is body swap that scum. And, you know, like we could have probably killed him on this round, but it, it offers us a little bit more flexibility on the next round. Maybe uh, these lads are going to come in and they'll take a shot on scum. Could also throw a decoy. Kind of like that idea. And I want to I want to see what these uh, moves look like and, and how the um, AI kind of interacts with it. What do you mean? She just he just walked right through the proximity grenade and it didn't even pop off. What's going on there? What's the deal with the proximity grenades? Oh, I see they need a round to arm. Well, that would have been good to know. Shoot. All right. All right, so Zoe, uh, what's our what's your melee attack looking like? Um, it's not great. What if we just shot him? If we just shoot him, he's, it's a hundred percent chance of hitting him. So let's do that. She's almost dead, so that's definitely a concern. Can we just we can just hit this guy? Let's just do that. Um, I'm wondering, can we don't have a med kit? available so that's unfortunate um let's move him over here and then maybe take a shot at that last scum because we're gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of other stuff let's hope we hit him here unfortunately that i didn't realize that uh removes our remove something there i'm not sure what it might it might be that it removes my disguise and now that the the uh, the body swap is is gone, okay. Let's just move Scarlet like here and shoot this guy. Oh, we need to reload. Oops. Can we melee? We'll we'll me melee punch him. Punch. He did not die. There is a range of damage. All right, let's run over here and punch him. Wow, I, I was very inefficient about this. Punch. I was kind of hoping to see his like head pop off or something something like really over the top and unnecessarily ghoulish and violent let's move uh zoe to cover actually let's have her um get this free health over here i was gonna have her heal herself but getting free health is just as good oh my god that's a lot that's, a, that's way more than i was thinking okay we'll reload um and we could do an overwatch i have to okay so set up an overwatch area during enemy turn you will shoot at the first enemy to cross in your range doesn't really tell you like make clear what like what is the benefit of that why, why not just take a shot if you have one tyball can do another body swap so he's going to for sure because that's kind of like almost a free kill maybe I probably should have um, taken some kind of shot first. I guess this is where we can do an overwatch. Because it might be that that procs after they shoot at scum. Um, now let's see, what can we do here? I think what I'd like to do, is that full cover? It's hard to tell. Let's rotate. Oh, nice. I like that you can rotate like full increments here. Um, so let's, let's move Zoe over here and then uh, wind up her barrel it's not letting her wind up the barrel maybe that's a special attack um i guess it maybe it takes like a full turn so she wasn't able to do that so let's have her overwatch as well why not okay so that that pops off and that's done a nice chunk of damage She's gonna heal. What do you mean heal? She she healed like my whole team. That was weird. We have another Ronin here. I thought that he was like the boss of the uh, arena, but apparently he's just that was just introducing uh, a normal dude. That proximity grenade actually popped off. That's hilarious. Wait a minute. That means that is did Tybalt just die? Uh oh. 
and we're unexpectedly joined by the show director, Orion Ford himself. Oh yeah. Greetings, challengers. You're doing well. Maybe too well. Let's see how you handle some complications. Oh, explosive grenades, huh? Or uh, barrels? Nice. That's more like it. Now you've got a better chance of going out with a bang. Well, that's cool, but I just lost one of my dudes. So I'm not sure what gave you the impression I was doing well. Um, we could definitely... Well, I don't know. That won't be as good as I, I'd i like. We could do a snapshot, right? Yeah, we could do a snapshot of the barrel. And I assume it doesn't need to take that much damage. There we go. That's nice. And, um... Unfortunately, that's the one dude that has this, the body swap on him. So I don't necessarily want to shoot at him primarily. So we'll do some a normal attack on this guy out here. Um, I'm a little bit worried about Zoe. Zoe's not exactly in a good position right now. Um, I wouldn't mind taking out this, this guy just to have one less body on the field. Three defenders left. Yeah, she's he's gonna do a, a, an attack on on her. Now, wouldn't it be nice if this guy attacked? Nope, never mind. Not not the decoyed one. Okay, so he's gone. Oh, Overwatch. Uh, that's kind of interesting. We can see where his Overwatch begins and ends, though. Unfortunately, this explosive barrel is not in a good position. Um. So we can reach a lot of things right now. I think I want to just take out this guy. Just to, again, remove another body on the field. No ammo left, so we're going to have to do a reload on the next turn. This guy over here is a bit of a problem, for sure. We could do a melee punch on him, but that doesn't do very much. It's, it's actually just better to shoot him. Because we get a 100% chance. And we can't really, like... Well, what are you going to do? Move away from him? He's just going to move back towards you, right? sword unsheathed okay interesting oh that's actually a much better spot for him we did take some nasty damage but we should be able to take him out with that barrel we could do we can't do a snapshot it's on cooldown so we'll shoot that barrel nice Um, and you know what for Zoe? Why don't we I don't know what unsheath does. Let's let's find out about that can perform a powerful melee attack with his sword So I'm pretty sure it just means he's winding up an attack So I think I'd rather just have Zoe walk up to him and then uh, shoot him Rather just like get a hundred percent, you know opportunity to to land the attack double kill So that's that So we get some stuff. Um, our dudes level up. Does uh, do we lose Tybalt forever, or is there like uh, I wonder if there's like Iron mode, and I wonder how like insistent on Iron mode this game is. Oh. Okay. So we've got a kind of a linear uh, level stage select thing going on. I'm not sure if that's how the uh, actual game is going to progress. Um, no, it's not a problem if it is. I'm just uh, curious. Like, there's a lot of ways to make this kind of game. Um, you know, a lot of uh, these kind of games, like including XCOM, kind of settle for like almost a procedural mission thing. But uh, I'm not sure if that's what they're going for here. But uh, either way, I, I kind of like the look of this. I uh, I really do. I, I, like, it's all going to be in, like, how satisfying is the progression system and how varied are the different characters going to be. I know that the actual, like, the full game is going to sport things like traps and stuff and, like, um, things you have to shoot for, like, rewards that you are, are trying to, like, uh, obtain while you're doing the mission, like, side quests and side missions and stuff like that. Um, so... 
all of that sounds very appealing to me i do like the style of it and i really do like the execution so we'll have to see if uh if it's worth picking up on uh release but so far i, I i'm impressed by this i think this is really cool but uh you let me know what you think about it in the comments and uh if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy